writing in English. It is not something that you can improve easily after watching one YouTube video or even going through the whole course. It takes a lot of time in order to improve it, but in this video I want to share with you several tips that can help you to improve this skill easier. If you're interested in that topic, continue watching this video. I want to start this video from a personal story how I tried to improve my writing skills. I want to say that at the beginning of my English fluency journey I didn't concentrate on writing so much. I wanted to, you know, sharpen the X and I just tried to improve my vocabulary and grammar because vocabulary and grammar are the basics of the writing, right? So I spent almost two months in order to improve these two uh, parts of English language. Yeah, probably I did one thing that somehow improved my writing in that period of time. I tried to create different sentences with different grammatical rules that I learned at that period of time. Because, you know, this is the best uh, way for you to improve your grammar and vocabulary. This is practicing. So I tried to, you know, learn new rules and then use them in the sentences. So yeah, maybe in this way I tried to improve my writing as well. Then, after these two months, I started to have my personal diary where I wrote everything that happened to me, you know, I tried to describe my day, my thoughts, that stuff, and this thing really effectively improved my writing because this is the best way for you. You try to think about something, you try to describe something, and you're writing it down. This is amazing. And my sentences were really superficial, you know, today I woke up at 9 a.m., then I went to school, then I came back home and had my homework, then I had my uh, dinner and went to sleep. You know, that was really easy sentences. But this easy approach helped me to be confident, at least in the easiest structures that can be in English writing. And guys, what is the most interesting here is that becoming older, my thoughts became more complicated. And through time, it wasn't so easy for me to, you know, describe my thoughts. And I used to adopt the translator in order to find meanings of different words that I wanted to write down in my personal diary. And it was tangibly improving. I could have watched it on my first page, then on the third page, and I have seen that result. And that was amazing because I saw that sentences on the first page were far easier than the sentences on the third page. So yeah, simple approach. Step by step, I tried to improve my writing. And, you know, the thought that no one can actually understand what I'm writing about brought me so much pleasure. Instead of having my personal diary, I also applied the note-taking. I read the book and tried to find the most important information, you know, the clue of the story, and wrote it down in the separate paper. Note-taking can help you a lot, because basically you don't only copy the information from the book, but also you remember this information, and that's the most important, because, you know, English is just the tool for you to understand the information and to remember this information, and note-taking can kill two birds with one stone, improving your writing skills and remembering the information. The next step that I did, I tried to find different topics for different essays from English exams like TOEFL, IELTS, Duolingo, things like that. Yeah, no, not Duolingo. Duolingo wasn't existing for that time. And here we are. I had a bunch of different ideas and, you know, sometimes the topics were too complicated and I could write only, you know, three sentences or five sentences and it was enough for me, but sometimes topics were completely superficial and I could write something really long and beautiful. I tried to do that repeating activity no more than three times a week, and it helped me a lot. And the last thing that I did in order to improve my writing, and I actually do that thing for now, I'm writing down the scripts for my videos in YouTube. It's probably the most powerful method that helps me to improve my writing skills. When you need to come up with an interesting idea, then search for the information and combine this information into the short video, it takes so much time and effort. So probably you should think about starting your own YouTube channel. How do you think about that? So yeah, writing this is really important too and probably that's everything that I wanted to say to you. If you found something really interesting in this video for yourself, write in the comments down below. That was everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye!